Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Leonberger. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Leonberger Overview The Leonberger hails from Leonberg, Germany, the city after which the dog was named. Heinrich Essig, a previous mayor of the town, is generally credited with the creation of the Leonberger. Herr Essig was an avid animal lover who had a particular fondness for large-sized dog breeds. It was his goal to breed a dog that resembled the lion that graced the town's crest. In 1846, Essig announced that he had developed a new dog by crossing new fee with a Saint Bernard, and then a Pyrenean mountain dog. He then left to promote the dog while his niece, Marie, bred and trained the dogs at home. Leos also excel as farm dogs, utilizing their strength and guarding instincts to protect herds, pull carts, and guard property. Let's start with the pros. Adventurous. Families who like to go camping, swimming, or on other adventures would be a great match for this dog that loves the outdoors. It will be the best family dog and companion because it is obedient, fearless, with non-aggressive behavior. Good with kids. They have a gentle nature and love to romp around and play with kids. Leo is a phenomenal swimmer, which is hard to imagine considering his massive size and dense, thick coat. With proper socialization and obedience training, these dogs are excellent listeners and pick up on commands quickly. This breed also makes an excellent guard dog, always making sure to alert you to anything suspicious going on around his domain. However, this dog is an excellent family dog and does well with children and other pets. They're well suited for cold climates, but responsible owners should always have their pets live with them indoors. Leo makes for a fabulous therapy dog due to his intelligence, gentle nature, and affinity for children. This is a massive breed that is incredibly strong, and while he is very gentle, he is excitable and has a very playful streak. Now it's time to consider the cons. Grooming. Because of its heavy shedding, this breed needs daily grooming. Keep in mind that the Leo is quite the shedder and will require daily grooming, which could take a big chunk of time each day. First-time dog owners may want to reconsider getting a Leonberger German Mountain Dog. Although they're obedient and bright canines, they require consistent training, a firm leader, and plenty of socialization. If you live in an apartment or smaller home, you may want to consider a different, smaller dog breed. Leo is a very large dog, and unfortunately, that means his life expectancy is pretty short of seven years. Without sufficient exercise, Leos often become destructive and unruly, especially in the adolescent phase. Interesting facts. In 2002, the Leo Club of America started an award program to celebrate Leos and their owners for taking time to participate in therapy programs. Leo went on to be the coveted dog of nobles such as Napoleon III, Tsar Alexander II, and King Edward VII. During World War I and II, however, the breeds face near extinction in Germany. The eight dogs who survived World War II can be credited as the ancestors to all modern day. It is thanks to Karl Stadelmann and Otto Josenhens that this breed was able to recover post-war. Appearance. The double-layer coat is truly breathtaking, with a short, fluffy undercoat and a long, full outer coat on top. Leo's coat comes in four standard colors and combinations, yellow, mahogany, tan and sandy. Leo height ranging from 25.5 to 31.5 inches whereas weight being anywhere from 90 top 170 pounds. Like majority of giant dog breeds, their lifespan is quite short, only around 7 years. Leos don't produce very many puppies at a time. Litters have 6 puppies on average. Shedding and grooming. Leos are a heavy shedding breed with a thick, water-resistant top coat and a dense, fluffy undercoat. So they shed quite a bit year-round, and even more during spring and fall when they blow coat. Brush your dog every two to three days with a grooming rake as this is the best way to remove loose fur. Leo is prone to matting, and matting can become painful for the dog if his coat is not properly brushed out each day. Experts recommend having a metal dog comb and undercoat rake for the Leo's soft undercoat, and a pin brush or slicker brush for that long, lush outer coat. 
The neck, tail, thighs and behind the ears are all areas that are prone to tangles. This breed is double-coated and will need to be bathed every two to four weeks. Like all dogs, your Leo will need his nails trimmed regularly to avoid cracking and splitting. His ears will need to be checked weekly and cleaned consistently to keep any ear infections at bay. Eyes will also need to be wiped daily but luckily their dark fur won't noticeably show any tear stains. Cost. On average a Leo puppy will cost $2,400 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $1,700 and $3,250. The average price of a Leo puppy in India is around 65,000 to 1. 000 rupees. Leo price drops considerably if you choose to adopt or rescue. At around $300 to $500 for a rescue and $150 for adoption. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. This dog has a lot of stamina and will require over two hours of exercise each day. The best exercise for a Leo would include joining his human on hikes or jogs. Hide and seek, find the treat and other proactive games will help meet your dog's activity requirements. We don't recommend letting your Leo off leash when out in public, he will love to run free in a large, fenced-in backyard. You must understand this dog is sensitive and can feel emotional if you become upset with them. They aren't the type of dog that's eager to please which is why it's so important to keep their attention. Positive reinforcements such as food treats and love have always been the best way to make this pooch listen. You should start with obedience training first and this should be done from as early as possible. This dog is intelligent and respect will generally be gained once they understand your leadership. From the age of 8 months to 2 years you will see your dog beginning to push their boundaries. Many dogs are often given away at this age by owners who just didn't realize what it takes to look after a Leo. Intelligence. Leonbergers are adequately intelligent canines. They have decent thinking, decision-making, and problem-solving skills that are required for a dog to efficiently live and grow in this world. Swimming. Most Leonbergers absolutely love to swim or play in the water. These canines are amazing swimmers and their webbed feet certainly helps them a lot while they are inside the water. This is a great breed to take to a beach or a pool. Barking. They rarely bark and when they do it will most likely be to alert you to strangers approaching. The deep loud bark makes a Leo a great watchdog, although they are too placid and calm to do much else. They mostly bark when they want their owner's attention or when they are guarding their homes. Weather and climate. Leonbergers have a poor tolerance to heat and high temperatures. They are not very well suited for hot and summery areas and it can have a really bad effect on their health if they are kept in a hot and humid region without giving them any care and protection. Their tolerance to cold is excellent and can comfortably reside in highly chilly areas. They are great for those families who are looking to raise a canine in a snowy and low temperature region. Friendliness. Leos are extremely good with children because they are very gentle and show calm behavior with kids. Since they are highly energetic they will make an excellent pair with children. However, they can be rough players while playing and may knock down children while playing. They are also intolerant of disputes and may choose to break up squabbles between children or adults. Leos are very lively and sociable canines and are always happy to meet new pooches while they are on their daily walks. These canines generally have no problem in getting along with other dogs and remain fairly warm and cordial with them. Well socialized Leos are fairly friendly with most other household pets including cats. These pooches should be properly introduced to cats at an early age so that when they grow up, they can be a bit more comfortable and sociable with the members of the feline family. Initially, Leos tend to remain a bit reserved and quiet around strangers, but once they get to know the new person properly and start trusting him, and then they can be fairly friendly and warm to them. Proper training and early socialization are of utmost importance to the Leos so as to become a bit gregarious and sociable in nature. Adaptability. Leonbergers are not considered to be very well suited for the apartment lifestyle. These canines mostly do well in big houses with yards or gardens where these pooches can freely move. Leonbergers are not very suitable for the novice or first-time owners. 
these canines have high grooming requirements, high exercise and feeding needs. They also require regular training and guidance of their owners so as to become a bit more sociable with others. With enough exercise and mental stimulation, Leos may be able to spend up to 8 hours home alone. But the people-centric breed may become destructive if not given enough attention or the opportunity to burn off energy. If this is done on a regular basis, then various destructive traits can be developed in these canines like incessant barking, furniture chewing etc. Guard, Watchdog Leos are fairly decent guard dogs but they are well known for their watchdog ability rather than their guarding skills. These canines can efficiently look after their home and property and can alert their owners in case of an external threat that could come in the form of an intruder, burglar or trespasser. Drooling. Leos can drool profusely, but only when they are excited about something or after eating, drinking their food, water. Apart from this, they don't slobber all that much like some other big-sized breeds do. Health issues. This breed is also prone to several inheritable health conditions including orthopedic problems, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, osteochondritis dissecans, panastitis, cataracts, entropion, and ectropion. Have you had any experience with Leonberger? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.